that goes on. Okay. Good afternoon, members. I call Committee of the Whole on Bill 32, Provincial Symbols and Honours Amendment Act 2023, to order. Shall Clause 1 pass? Aye. Recognizing the member from Richmond North Centre. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, through the Madam Chair, I would like to ask the Minister, uh, has the Ministry consulted with diverse Indigenous groups in British Columbia about designated a fossil as the province emblem? If so, were there any concern raised by these groups? Thank you, Madam Chair. Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, yes, there was engagement with local First Nations where this fossil was discovered. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. So uh, there's engagement with First Nation groups, right? <coughs> Did I hear the minister right? So um, through the chair, can the minister name uh, who are those uh, First Nation groups or any band that she can talk about, or the minister can talk about? Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, so the ones that I can let the member know about right now are the Comox Nation, Wewake, and Wewakum, and we can get a more fulsome list uh, for the member if she wants. Thank you, Madam Chair. Member. Uh, oh. uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, uh, my apology, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you for the minister's uh, response. I'm kind of uh, surprised why the minister has to get the list without uh, having to respond right away if uh, she has engaged in a fulsome uh, kind of a consultation with the First Nations through the Madam Chair. Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. So the consultation was done in 2018 after the, while well, the vote was taking place. And um, we have full records of the consult, those consultations, but we don't have them with us today, but we're happy to share them. In member. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Minister. Uh, I'm kind of quite uh, surprised that um, when the minister has made the decision to resend the bill in the legislature, and this year is 2023, and the engagement, the consultation was done in 2018, going back five years ago. So um, with five years, anything can happen uh, through the chair. I don't understand why there wasn't any um, up-to-date consultation with First Nation groups.
Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. Our fossil management office has ongoing consultation with nations around fossils and the management of fossils. Um, the uh, the uh, initial consultation specific to this fossil was started in 2018, but conversations continue along the way. I can tell the member that I visited the museum where the, the work on this fossil has been housed and led from, and there was a representative from the Comox Nation there, and there seemed to be uh, a lot of happiness that this was moving forward. But as far as specific details around official consultation that has been documented, those records can be provided to the member. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yeah, definitely we would like to have the record. But I'm still a little bit bewildered that um, when the minister decided to present this bill, when I first raised this question, the minister doesn't seem to remember whether it's an engagement. And has the minister read the record, the report about the engagement that was done in 2018? And as I said, five years has passed. Um, I'm still surprised that there's no consultation up to date with the First Nation concerning this uh, fossil being uh, proclaimed as the emblem. Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, so I'm not sure where the confusion lies, but there was consultation done, and those records can be um, uh, given to the, to the member if she wants. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. My confusion is that uh, the minister cannot tell me what's the content of the consultation. I guess the consultation took place in 2018, five years ago. Uh, uh, that, it, it looks like that the minister hasn't dug up the report. The staff hasn't presented the report to the minister for her to read. And five years has passed and uh, the whole political climate is different. I think we need to consult the First Nation by uh, having the the um, decision to proclaim this uh, fossil. I, uh, through the chair, I still cannot understand why there's no, uh, for the minister, no up-to-date consultation with the First Nations group. Uh, member, just to be aware, I, I believe the minister has, in fact, answered the question. If she chooses to answer again, that would be fine. But if you could move on to another line, that would be great. Thank you. Minister. Thank you. And um, I think I have answered this question, but I'll, I'll answer one more time. Um, there is ongoing engagement with First Nations uh, in our fossil management office. And uh, there is um, visitations to sites done by this office and continuing conversations. And so we feel that there was a, a consultation done that there was opportunities for nations to raise concerns. Uh, no concerns were raised. And in fact, the visit that I had in Comox just a month and a half ago, it seemed to be very positive. So there's been uh, a lot of opportunities to raise um, issues if there were the issues. Uh, and we feel that um, we're, we feel that nations have are supporting this process moving forward. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. So I just would like to um, put on record that we would like to have the official consultation, as the minister said, 2018. And the minister uh, stressed that the fossil management office also have ongoing uh, discussion engagement with all the First Nations groups. I'm sure there should be a record, and we would like to have a record of uh, when did it take place ongoing, meaning from 2018 all the way to before the bill was presented, and what are the groups, and when did it happen? And we would like to get that kind of information. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. And um, 
Are there, uh, uh, full, full Madam Chair, I would like the Minister to tell us, are there any specific considerations regarding why this particular fossil was chosen over the other's fossil? <laughs> Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. So um, it was an exciting process, actually, the, how this particular fossil was chosen. Um, there were seven different fossils that were put forward, uh, and those were chosen by the BC Paleontological Alliance. Um, those were working with the province and, and the alliance. Those were the seven that went forward to uh, a public vote. And there was time, I think it was three months, where a public poll was posted on Engage BC. This was from August 15th to November 2023rd. Uh, this was in 2018. Um, this, uh, this resulted in approximately 5,000 votes that were cast. And out of the seven candidates, um, this particular fossil received 48% of the vote, and the fossil, which, or the runner-up fossil, only received 15%. So uh, it was an overwhelming vote for this particular fossil, and that's how it was decided. Member. Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Minister, for the detailed uh, response. So I will come back to this, but I, I just want to, through the Madam Chair, ask another question. Does the Minister plan to use this new fossil emblem to boost BC tourism industry? Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, well, I guess the short answer is, of course. Um, this is one of the top areas. Canada, but also BC, um, is one of the top areas for fossils. And it's quite an attraction for paleontologists from around the, the globe. And so any chance we have to identify it, just another reason for people to come to British Columbia, we'll do so. But this fossil is added to a list of uh, emblems that are our official emblems in the province. And so um, we're really proud to have this one. It's uh, kids, as we know, love fossils. Um, and this is just another, perhaps, campaign to attract people to learn more about our uh, geological history. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Minister. I'm, I'm so excited that the Minister said yes. So is there any plan on how to um, use this new fossil emblem to boost the tourism industry? Is there any budget allocated? Or, uh, is there any detailed plan? Uh, how long will it take? Or, or whatever plan that you have. Uh, thank you. Minister. Thank you. Um, so 
I think our plan is to try and get this passed first, and then we can have those discussions. But um, uh, I feel like um, the opportunities are endless with, uh, with something like this, and so happy to start having those conversations, but it hasn't passed yet. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. It will soon. <laughs> um, so the minister just now was saying that the um, votes uh, took place in 2018. I want to confirm whether I heard it clearly. 2018, right? So I wonder why it has taken so long for the ministry to present this bill to the House. Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. So, um, yes, so the work uh, and the vote started in 2018. As the member will know from being in government, there is a lot of work to make sure that something moves through a legislative <coughs> calendar. A reminder that this also started as a private member's bill. So, um, but just as a side note, the work on this has been going on for a very long time, even under the members' government uh, with um, the late Minister Stan Hagen. So um, the, the community has been interested this, in this for a very long time, and uh, we, have, we found a way to move it in as, in as a government bill and fit it into the legislative calendar this fall. So um, as I think I stated in second reading, um, it does seem like it has taken a, a bit of time, but in fossil years, not that long. <laughs> Member. Thank you, Madam. It takes millions, billions, right? <laughs> so since the minister mentioned the private member, so I uh, just wonder through the chair, why did the government not support the private member bill when it was introduced by the member from Courtney Comos, especially considering all the significant resources invested in pursuing this as a bill introduced by the ministry. Minister. Thank you. Um, so when it was originally introduced, there was already a full legislative uh, calendar and schedule, and so this was our first opportunity. Shall Clause 1 pass? Aye. So ordered. Cla shall Clause 2 pass? Aye. So ordered. Shall the title pass? Aye. So ordered. So ordered. Yay! We now have an apostle. Yay! <laughs> Minister. Thank you, Honourable Chair. I move that the committee rise and report the bill complete without amendment. Thank you. This committee will... <laughs> Members. The question is that this committee rise and report Bill 32 complete without amendment. 
Those in favor indicate aye. Aye. Those opposed indicate nay. Motion is carried. This committee stands adjourned as well, I go down and report. And we'll reconvene in 10 minutes, please. <laughs>